Right now, what we've shown again, and not in a, in a prospective trial, but we feel like there's still a role for patients who have large hemorrhages that have been affected significantly by their hemorrhage, such that they have a debilitated neurological exam. Maybe these patients have been intubated. And processes to gain a better exam or extubate those patients, we think will benefit from evacuation. The patient that has a fairly large lower hemorrhage that is relatively asymptomatic, maybe they don't have a particular motor deficit, but they have a sensory deficit or they have difficulty with vision in one part of their, uh, in one part of their uh, visual field or another, that usually uh, explains where the bleed is. Those patients, we would probably be less inclined to operate on. Uh, so right now, it's in flux, but we are really looking at the patients that have a significant neurological deficit from their hemorrhage and seeing that based on that, based on that deficit, if we start with reducing their neurological deficit, excavating those patients, getting those patients onto rehab, these are the primary goals of, of uh, evacuation of these hematomas right now.